Now, John mentioned, or she, he, he alluded to infrastructure and the product teams have been deep diving on security for the rollout. Uh, and this is really critical. So getting the rollout right from a security perspective is absolutely key, um, especially with the nature of Blaze and the fact that we're going to have certifiers. Everything has to be done, I would just say, perfectly. Uh, and we're evaluating everything at this point. So is the, even the current Blaze certifier circuit good enough or do we want to upgrade it to make it more flexible? Right? Like, so as we declare certifiers, will the certifier set uh, be expected to change in, I don't know, say, coming months or years going forward? Probably, right? So we can think through some of the details here. Key management, security. Uh, what happens when we need to make upgrades to the chain? Right? Like we, we know that we're going to go live here with this V0 and then have a very aggressive roadmap to make this EVM competitive in the market. And competitive means very fast block times. It means very fast finality. Uh, there's a lot of competition out there, and we're under no illusions that this V0 that we go out with is going to be on day one, the most competitive EVM chain in the market. But that's no excuse not to go out there with a very aggressive roadmap to make it competitive. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we need to understand the mechanics of how will we upgrade things on the chain? How will the upgrades be rolled out? Are these classic hard forks? I mean, this is a side chain operating. What does it mean for the circuit, if anything, that you declare when you deploy the chain initially on, on the main chain? All right, so we have to go through these details. This is what the teams are doing right now. Um, and depending on the level of effort for users to upgrade, so what happens when there's actually a hard fork or we change consensus or maybe certifiers change um, for the EVM chain? What happens to users? In particular, what happens to all the smart contracts and dApps and integrations that happen on the EVM chain? Because we want to foster a lot of activity in, in uh, this ecosystem, we want DeFi, we want the NFTs and the marketplaces. We want a lot to happen. What happens when we upgrade the system? What will the, the experience for users be? Now, these are the types of things that we're thinking through now, thankfully, you know, months before we actually deploy this thing. But still, there's a lot on our plates to make sure that we get this right. And depending on some of the answers to some of these questions, like, for example, we might want to actually integrate in the sidechain to sidechain functionality into the V0 as an example, right? If, if it's a very onerous upgrade process, we might want to get in the most important substantive things before we launch. If the, if the upgrade process is completely manageable, it's defined, we can facilitate it with tools, okay, maybe we can deploy V0 with less functionality and upgrade as we go. Right? These are all things that we don't have all the answers right now. Uh, thankfully, we're working through these things and you know, we'll have uh, more information as we go, as always.